this is an unusual video that popped up after I watched a train crash. It was recommended, but it was a very depressing topic. Suicide by Amtrak, June 24th, 2010 on YouTube. Now, the lady comes from just in that angle. You see something black walk over. You'll hear the train conductor say, oh, my God, we hit and killed the lady. And obviously she comes in front here on the left side, the left tracks, these ones. The train comes from that side. So you'll see a black object right there. But when this happens, a white orb is seen going up across the screen just precisely after the, uh, the lady commits suicide. Then the orb splits in two there. Um, you'll see it move down a little bit, but the camera is very steady. So I assume that's the suction caused by the train. So I'm trying to get a rough indication of the height and the a distance of it. So it's probably very close. It's sort of, sort of between that a building there just rising up there. Because when the train passes quickly, it's sucked down a bit, then it goes back up again. Uh, we'll put a larger screen and, and let's watch this. So um, the train will be coming now. Okay. You'll see it coming there. You see it? Right there, where I'm holding the cursor, it goes down a bit. Then right there, it'll, it'll split in two. Look at that. There it goes separately. So it, it seems to be drawn down um, after the train passes by some sort of suction effect. There it is splitting. So let's do it again. There it goes there. I'll keep the cursor there. It goes down that fraction. There it is there and I can enlarge it and pull it. There it is, it splits. That's amazing. So let's do it again. Um, let's go to the precise moment there. So she'll come out through there. Uh, I'll just show you where she is. Uh, I don't want to, I, I don't like doing it, but um, oh, she's just come through. Let me just pause and find that time. I don't like going into all the details, but you'll see a black figure there. I'll just pause it and play it. See that lady, she crouches and stands up right there. You'll see her stand up. She starts to walk right there, then she goes behind that stack of dirt or whatever and waits. So you see her obviously there. Now, um, let's wait. It happens at 58 seconds, the train comes. And then we'll pause on the orb. It's about now. Okay, let's now wait for the first sign of it, so it should be coming from this area here. There it is there, that's the first sign of the orb right there. So if we enlarge it, there it is there, you see it right in the middle of the screen. Now it's, it's not that clear, let's escape. Then we'll go a fraction more. You lose sight of it now a bit, and it seems to be coming down there it's going to come down a fraction so just as the train passes and it's got that suction effect the orb seems to come down so i'll just enlarge it to show where the orb is again there it is there in the center of the screen let's go back and we'll we'll watch that dip down and go back up like a suction effect there it is there again it's appeared right there let's go back There it is again. It's a little bit easy to see now. There it is. You can actually see it. It's a little bit more whiter right there. And we go again. Oh shit! Oh shit! There it is there. Okay, so we're just pausing it step by step. And this is where it begins that split. It actually splits into two. I'm not sure what that signifies. Do it now. I'll let it play to that step and we'll pause it when it just before it um, splits. There it is, it's gone up and down. There it is, there from the suction effect. The camera seems pretty steady, so I assume it's the effect of the train. It's like some sort of suction effect that brings it down, vacuum. And this is the part we're going to, there it is, there, you can keep your eye on it. And this is the part where it splits, so that's the part, okay, now, it's just starting now, that split. Let's enlarge it. 
there. That's very interesting. You'll see the left and right. The left is a bit more brighter than the right. There it is there. It's starting to split. And here you'll see it as it's splitting right in the middle of the screen. And then we've got um, a bit more for it to split and go away. So I'll just enlarge it again. There it is there, splitting, and it leaves a trail in between still. That's amazing. I don't think that's a camera artifact or anything happening on the camera lens. There it is there, and the left one is a bit brighter and it remains, and the white part has disappeared. There it is there, the left. And you see that faint line connecting them still. And, um, yeah, let's do it again. Let's, um, let's watch it. There it is there. There it is there, I'm keeping the cursor underneath it. And that's where it splits into. Now after I placed the video in here, I can actually zoom in and do screen captures of the enlarged orbs and I'll show you how I analyse it. So soon I'll have a screen capture now. Um, I've used the zoom it button which is downloaded from Microsoft. So this is where I'll enlarge it. There we go. So I can take the screen capture there. And I'll see if I zoom in anymore. I won't. Okay. So that's how it's done. I'll quickly use the zoom button. And then I can uh, show you how I analyze these. So that's it there. And then I just keep it on the file. Then I'll go to the next step where it enlarges again. This is where it splits, so um, this will be important. That's it there. So I'll actually zoom in there where it starts to split and freeze that right there. Perfect. And I can then use contrast and show you how I get the images up. There it is there. Perfect. That's where it starts to split. Then we can do the third one, which is where it actually goes further. So that's where it starts to separate. That's what I did just now. And then we allow it to go one more separation further. So that's the third one I'll analyze right there. Perfect. Just freeze it. So I'll just use that screen um, screen capture. It's called snipping tool. That's a free download. There it is there. Perfect. Then we can do a fourth one. That's where it's split further and the right orb disappears. There it is there. And you still got that plasma or whatever that joined them. So I can actually zoom into that. That's it. I'll stop there. And snip that one. That's, that's the fourth one. You'll see a very uh, small, small streak of plasma. This is the first one loaded, so I'll just press um, Photo Gallery, Auto Adjust. Then I'll just fiddle around here a bit with the um, highlights and everything. So that's where it just separates. That's the image um, where I got. So I'm making it darker to bring up the white. That's the contrast. It's better if I go back that way. And then Shadows uh, makes it a bit better go further. And I'll take that back on this side here. So that's probably the best image of that one. I'll just enlarge a fraction so you see what it's like. So it's more of a square shape just as it separates and that's the orb there that separates on the right that disappears quicker. So that's a fairly good image there. That's the next image there. We'll press auto adjust. Then I'll enlarge a fraction so you see how it's done there. And that looks like the same image, so let's go back, get the next one. This is where it starts to separate, so I'll use Auto Adjust right there. Then I can adjust the exposures again, um, make the brightness there a bit different, contrast, bring it back down a fraction there, shadows uh, just there. So I'm going to take that a little bit further out there, enlarge it, and you then obviously see where it starts to split. That's the main one. That's one on the right and there's still some plasma connecting it. This is where it's gone further. 
So again, I'll press the auto adjust and bring it down. Highlights that side. Brightness, make it a bit darker so we see the white. Contrast this way, shadows a bit that way, not too far. Just like that, so it's just right. And we make sure that's a little bit left of the graph. And we enlarge it as well. It's becoming a bit blurred there. And this is where it's the furthest away. You just see the one on the left, the right one has disappeared, but you still see the plasma trail. There it is, perfect. And contrast might go down that way, get it back a little bit there, and shadows. So enlarge it there, there it is there, the left one. There's a little bit of a trail still evident, and then the right one has disappeared. And this is where it just begins to disappear, and I've used that obviously as the image on the on the actual video. But just enlarging it, obviously the one on the left is brighter, more square shape. Um, and the one starts straight away to become lighter and it disappears. And that's it.